Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another character guide and today's topic is Cherokee Bill from the film The Harder They Fall. And so like all my character guides we're going to do the full thing so I'm going to show you how to do his weapons, his outfit, and the facial customization to hopefully make your character look as much like Cherokee Bill at least as much as I've been able to make it happen. So if you like this video or you find yourself enjoying it at any point be sure to go ahead and click that like button as it is the only way or the at least the quickest way for you to show me that the content I'm making is stuff you enjoy, which means I'm more likely to make stuff like this in the future. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on everything I release here, and of course, you'll also be helping the channel grow. So with all that in mind, let's just dive on in and start it off with the weapons. All right, so for Cherokee Bill, he appears to only have one weapon. That's pretty iconic for him. And it is a Colt single action army revolver. It appears to be the quick draw bar variant, so the shortest barrel length that was common on these revolvers at the time. And his appears to have either bone or ivory grip, Unfortunately, we can't do that, so the closest we, come, we can come is pearl grips. And, of course, is all inox or nickel-plated. So, uh, as far as customizing your gun to look like his, there are a couple different options. So, uh, what we gotta do is you take your cattleman revolver, put the short barrel on it, improved rifling, improved sights, and put the pearl grip on it. Then, uh, no carvings, no engravings in the gun, and we're going to design the metals like this. So, the way that I think it looks the best is to give it the all nickel-plated look, because it's the most uniform, and it's decently shiny when you're using it out and about so it looks a lot like his gun. So if you do it that way, obviously, for uh, nickel plating for the barrel, cylinder, frame, hammer, sight, and trigger, it'll cost you six gold bars. So it's not very expensive, and I think it looks the best, and obviously imitates his gun very well. If you don't like the all nickel plating, you can also go for the all iron plating, which is also, I believe, the stock design for this revolver, which will cost you the same amount as the nickel, but looks a little bit different. It's a little bit more towards the blue spectrum of silver, I guess you could call it, and it is decently shiny. It's just a little less uniform and looks a little bit more warm down. So that's another option. Uh, all the other stuff would say the same. You just switch everything over to iron. Or of course the third option and most expensive is to make it all silver plated and this is going to give you a very similar look to the all iron plated except it'll be just a little bit more shiny. Again you suffer from the same thing. It's a little bit more wore down in places and looks a little uneven. But when you're using it out in the street you really can't see that much detail so it just looks like a shiny silver gun. So if you want to do uh, Cherokee Bill's gun from The Harder They Fall you do it like that. Either all nickel plated, all iron plated, or all silver plated short barrel with pearl grips. All right, and so here we have my attempt at Cherokee Bill's outfit, and I think it turned out pretty dang good. Looks a lot like him. Obviously, uh, the main problem being that he does only use one revolver, but he does appear to draw on the left side, so his gun holsters over on his left hip, not his right, but we can't really change that, so there's uh, no use crying over spilled milk. Uh, and for the rest of it, I think it all turned out pretty dang good, and we were able to pretty accurately match all of the items that make up this outfit. So uh, let's just go through them all one at a time and show you what they look like. So for the hat, there's basically basically two schools of thought. You can either match the perfect style of the hat, style and shape, or you can do the color. And so I figured uh, this one is probably the best compromise of the two because it's got almost exactly the right color, but is slightly off from the style, although it is still pretty close. So I went with the second variant of the Cayuga hat. It's sort of a dark brown with maybe a little reddish tint to it. I think it matches this hat from the film the best uh, out of all the available options. Even though the shape isn't perfect, the color is pretty dang close and the shape is still really close. So that's the hat that I figure is best to go with, but there's one other option. The Haverhill hat, which was added with uh, one of the quick draw passes in summer of 2021, uh, is the exact right shape and size as his hat in the movie. The only problem with this hat is that it's too light. His hat is a darker brown and this one is like a light beige-ish brown. So this one's the perfect size and shape, but it's not the right color, so that's why I did not use it. But that being said, I figured I'd show it anyway just in case anybody else doesn't care about the color as much and they just want to hit that perfect size and shape. Because if you do, then this hat is the right one. For his bandana, he uses like a yellowish, maybe a goldish style bandana with uh, quite a bit of decoration on it. So there's quite a few options, but the one that I chose to go with is the 13th variant of the patterned bandana. I think it matches it the best and also looks really good with the outfit. So uh, like I said, you could really go with almost any yellow bandana, but this is the one that I think looks best. Then for the coat, he appears to be wearing a dark blue overcoat, whether it's a, what it, whether you want to call it a duster, shotgun coat, or whatever. It's just some sort of overcoat. And I think the best option, the closest one to look matching the 
the style, color, and the way that it fits is the classic frock coat and the seventh variant, this dark blue one. I think this one looks the best. That's why I chose to use it, but there are a couple other options that would also work just in case you don't have this one or can't get it or don't like the way it looks. This dark blue variant of the shotgun coat would also work. It's got a nice uniform color. It's nice and long. Uh, the only problems I guess I could say with it per se are the lapels and the collar. Cherokee Bill's in the show. His lapels and collar are flattened down and are very large. This one has very small collar and lapels and they're sticking up. So it looks a little bit different and doesn't quite match as well, but it would still work really well for the outfit. And then of course we have the uh, blue duster coat, which again, it's got a lot of the same stuff going on. It's a little bit too long. It's a little bit longer than his jacket is. His stopping just about right above the knee and this one going basically to the top of your boots. So this one would also work because it's the right color and has a similar style, but again, it doesn't have the nice big lapels and collar and also it's a little bit too long. So uh, those are the three options that I think work best for his coat. Uh, like I said, the classic frock coat is the one that I think works the best. Then for his vest, there's basically two options that work pretty dang well. I think the one that works the best is this uh, ninth variant of the Richfield vest. It's got approximately the same colors and pattern as the vest he wears. The only difference is uh, his only has one line of buttons and this one has two. Uh, his is also maybe a little bit slightly more purplish, but I still think this vest is the best option. But if you don't like this vest or don't have it or can't get it or whatever the reason is, there is one other alternative that works passably well. And that option is this uh, variant of the traditional vest. This one, uh, the colors are perhaps slightly more like the one he wears and it is only one line of buttons. So I could see the argument that this is a better option, but it's also quite a bit more wore out and dirty looking than his is. And uh, the pattern is different. His is like uh, flat squares like the Richfield vest, whereas this one's all is angled plaid diamonds. So either one of those vests will work quite well. It's really up to you which one you like better with the outfit. For the shirt, he wears a dark blue collared button up shirt and he has it open. Unfortunately, if you wear a bandana in this game, you can't open the collar, but uh, this is the closest shirt I could come to matching his. So it's the fifth variant of the work shirt. It's this uh, plain blue one. I think it's the best option for a shirt. For the gun belt, I went with the second variant of the bandit gun belt. It's got the same sort of light brown calf skin looking leather as his gun belt in the film. Like I said, if the holster was on the left side, it would match perfectly. But other than that, it matches pretty dang good. Then for the pants, he appears to be wearing a dark brown uh, pair of pants. And so there's a couple options that work. I went with the fifth variant of the studded pants just because I think they match it probably the best. Even though they're a little bit more wore out and dirty than his, I think they match it rather well. So they're the ones I went with, but there are a few other options. The Dunster pants from, I believe, the Halloween pass for 2021 also work rather well. Either that or Quick Draw Pass 4, I can't remember. But one of the ones from 2021, if you have the Dunster pants, they also match it pretty well. Or if you happen to have the fourth variant of the Cabrera pants, uh, these brown ones, they also work pretty well. So really, the key is just any normal looking, not baggy brown pants are going to work pretty well. But those three ones, I think, work the best. And then lastly, for footwear, where we have the Rutherford boots, and we're going to be using the fourth variant, these brown ones. They're pretty similar to the ones that he's wearing. He wears his Texas style, so you gotta tuck your pants into them. Really, any western style brown boots would work, but I think these ones are the best option. And so there we have the entire outfit. So looking at them side by side, I think you'll agree it looks a lot like his outfit. Like I said, uh, there's a couple a couple different choices you could go with. I could maybe see the argument that the other vest is better, even though the pattern's different because the color matches more closely. But uh, either way you go, I think the outfit looks great, and it definitely looks a lot like Cherokee Bill. Mission accomplished with this uh, outfit guide. So now let's move on to hair and facial hair, and then we'll do the facial construction. All right, so for hair, I went with the buzzed haircut because I'm pretty sure it's the closest to matching the one that he has in the film. For facial hair, I went with the uh, Reverend uh, hairstyle, and I did the black color for that. Uh, his is a little bit shorter and close cropped than this in the film, but I still think this comes probably the closest out of all the available options. And for stubble, we did uh, we did include the stubble just because it helps uh, even out the shading underneath the beard a little bit better. So that's hair and facial hair. Let's move on to the facial construction. All right, and so here you can see we've got uh, all the basic options filled out. I went with the 17th Heritage. I did the middle skin tone. I uh, went with 35 for the age. I did the athletic body build. I went with the hazel eye color and did natural eyebrows. So uh, now we're going to go through all the custom sliders. So I'm just going to go through. I'll give a little bit of time for each one. So if you're trying to copy it, you can follow along. If at any point it seems like I'm going too fast, you can either pause the video or you can go into the video settings and slow down the playback speed to as slow as you need to, you know, so you can follow along. But with all that in mind, let's just uh, get to it.
And so there we have the full thing. So I think you'll agree it looks quite a bit like the character from the film. Uh, at least I think so. And I think the outfit and weapons and everything else turned out really nice. So if you follow all of these steps, you can customize your weapons, outfit, and character to look an awful lot like Cherokee Bill from The Harder They Fall. So if you like this video, I now invite you to click that like button to show me, YouTube, and everyone else involved that it's a great video well worth your time watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or recommendations or suggestions for future videos, please go down to the comment section below and leave all of those there. And lastly, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you like the content, now would be the time to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on everything I release here and you'll see lots and lots of more great content just like this. So with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching and have a nice day and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.